Today's video will show you the top 7 symptoms and signs of a fatty liver. Watch until the end to find out what you can do to get rid of fatty liver disease. As always, this video is meant to teach, not give medical advice, because we are not doctors. First, what is disease of the fatty liver? The liver is an important organ that does a lot of things, like break down nutrients, make bile and urea, remove toxins from the blood, and store some vitamins and minerals. When there is too much fat in the liver, it sets off an inflammatory response. This makes the body's own defenses attack liver cells and hurt them. When liver cells are damaged, they can't work as well as healthy ones. So the liver can't detox and do its other jobs, which makes more fat build up. This disease is called hepatic steatosis or fatty liver disease. The most common type of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is fatty liver NAFLD. Small amounts of fat buildup are fine, but not when they make up more than 5 to 10% of the weight of the liver. As the liver gets fatter, it can lead to fibrosis and cirrhosis, which are stages of liver disease that cause severe scarring and can't be fixed. Now that we know why fatty liver is dangerous, let's look at the 7 signs and symptoms of this disease. Number 7. Higher liver enzymes in the blood. The liver makes a number of enzymes that break down nutrients, drugs, toxic chemicals, and other substances called metabolites, products of metabolism. The main enzymes that show liver damage are aspartate aminotransferase, ASD, and alanine aminotransferase, ALT. Studies show that 25 to 50 percent of people with fatty liver disease have high levels of ASD and ALT in their blood. If these enzymes go up, it could mean that you have fatty liver disease. Number 6. Weakness and fatigue. If you have trouble getting yourself to do physical or mental activities and your muscles are weak, fat in the liver can make you tired, which can make you feel sleepy. In a study done in 2008, people with fatty liver disease were more tired. That's not surprising, since the liver is the body's main energy processing organ. The liver talks to the skeleton, the intestines, the nervous system, and the fat storing tissue called adipose tissue. As fat builds up in the liver, these signals get messed up, and the muscles, intestines, and nerves stop working right. Number 5. Edema and Abdominal Pain. When fat builds up, it makes the liver cells inflamed. Inflammation causes immune cells to attack tissue. Damage to the tissue can cause edema and the body to hold on to fluid. Your liver is in the upper right side of your abdomen, so you may feel pain or discomfort there. Fatty liver disease can also cause stones to form in the bile ducts, which can cause pain. Number 4. Appetite and weight loss. When the liver is damaged, especially in the worst stage of fat buildup, hormones that control hunger are thrown off. Leptin is a hormone that controls hunger and makes people eat less. When leptin levels are higher than normal, it can make people lose their appetite and cause them to lose weight. Number 3. Gastrointestinal issues. Gastrointestinal problems involve the mouth, stomach, and intestines, which are all part of the digestive system. In a 2019 study, the digestive symptoms of people with liver cirrhosis were looked at. Most people had bloating in their stomachs, which was almost half of all cases. Also, 13.3% of patients had diarrhea, and 8% of patients had trouble going to the bathroom. Number 2. Nausea and Acid Reflux. A study done in 2009 found that people with fatty liver disease were more likely to have gastroesophageal reflux. Also, these people had more heartburn and burped more often. Gastroesophageal reflux is a condition in which stomach acid moves back up into the esophagus. It can make you feel sick and throw up. Another reason is that the liver is not able to get rid of toxins and waste. And, as a result, hurt the lining of the stomach and esophagus. This is called reflux. Number 1. Bruising and bleeding. Platelets are a type of blood cell that help blood to clot and stop bleeding. Platelets are made by the liver. In cirrhosis, the worst stage of fatty liver disease, 
platelet production goes down. When blood doesn't clot, it can cause bruises and even bleeding. A person might also get jaundice, itch, or swell. So there you go. The 7 signs of a fat liver. If you have these signs, you should get a blood test, an ultrasound, or a liver biopsy to find out how well your liver is working. But this disease was caused by people, and the only way to cure it is to change what you eat and how you live. Now, here are 8 things you can do to keep fatty liver disease from happening or to get rid of it. Number 1. Regular exercise. Aerobic exercises like walking, running, cycling, and zumba can help burn more fat and stop the liver from making more fat. Number 2. Limit how much alcohol you drink. The liver stores more fat when you drink alcohol. When the liver breaks down alcohol, an enzyme changes ethanol into acetaldehyde, which is a poisonous compound that can cause cancer. Number 3. Eat foods that are high in fiber. Triglycerides and LDL, which are called bad cholesterol, can go down when you eat more fiber. Try to eat at least 5 servings of fruits and veggies every day. You should also eat beans, lentils, and gluten-free whole grains, which are also high in fiber. Number 4. Cut out sugar. Sugar can make you gain weight and raise your blood sugar, especially if you have prediabetes or diabetes. When blood sugar levels are too high, fat builds up in the liver. Avoid refined sugar, packaged foods and snacks, and commercial fruit juice. Number 5. Stop using high fructose corn syrup, HFCS. HFCS is just as bad as sugar, or maybe even worse. When a lot of fructose gets to the liver, the extra fructose is turned right into fat. Read the labels and stay away from packaged foods that have HFCS. HFCS is called glucose fructose syrup, maize syrup, tapioca syrup, fruit syrup, and crystalline fructose, among other things. Number 6. Keep your weight in a healthy range. Even if you only lose 10% of your body weight, this can help stop fat from building up in your liver and reverse fatty liver disease. Number 7. Don't take medicine if you can help it. The liver is very important for getting rid of toxins and waste products and for breaking down drugs. Taking medicines you don't need can wear out liver cells and make the inflammation caused by fatty liver disease worse. Number 8. Eat a well-balanced diet. Having a healthy, well-balanced diet is the most important thing. Because the liver turns food into energy, any extra carbs, proteins, or fats are turned into fat in the liver, and some fat builds up. Include foods like cruciferous vegetables, artichokes, turmeric, walnuts, milk thistle, and coffee that help the liver detox. Who is likely to get fatty liver disease? Fatty liver disease is more likely to happen if you are overweight, over 50, come from a family with a history of liver disease, have sleep apnea, diabetes, high blood lipids, or drink more than 14 drinks per week. If you like this video, please click like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video from our channel. Now it's your turn. What do you do to take care of your liver? Write your thoughts down below. Please get in touch with us.